There you go. Hi, this is Catherine Roseanne with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Zev Slesinger from WizKids, and he's here to talk about blank white dice. And that's blank. what these are, blank and white dice. they are blank white dice, yes. Uh, two to four player game. You uh, get a pair of blank white dice, and you start the game with cards on the table. Uh, these are the core cards, so they're always in the game, and there are various methods of getting these other cards on the table, but the game starts with pretty much all the cards that you're going to work with. In the beginning of the game, you're going to tag your dice. Tag means right. You're going to take your wet erase marker that comes with the game, but you can use dry erase markers, you can use china markers, uh, and you're going to mark the uh, four si any four sides combined among your dice with these icons, and you can use the same icons or whatnot. Um, and they each have an effect. So on your turn, right, so you just drew the window here, which if that gets rolled, you'll be able to activate that card. And that's the game. So you're trying to see what you want to uh, put on your dice, um, and you're trying to get the 13 points. For example, this is actually, this one you're going to write on two faces. You're going to write a three on one face and a negative two on another. Then you're going to roll your dice. So you roll your dice. Any icons, and, you, and when it's your turn, you can activate your dice in any order. When you activate a die, if it has an icon, you do the icon effect listed on the card. So for example, this cocoon here, it would say lose two points, but then you can replace this icon with a three. So you're gonna erase that icon and then you're gonna put a three over there. So now you've just changed your die and now you're getting a three point boost, hopefully next time you roll. If you roll a blank, if you activate a, a blank die, that means you can tag uh, that face. So again, you can take any icon listed on the cards and put it on that face for a future turn. Uh, in which hopefully it will come up and do something cool. Uh, sometimes you'll have something where uh, if you get erase any face, this will allow you to erase anybody's face uh, ah. on the die. And this is so tag you can any erase fight. something positive for exactly. someone else. Exactly. And this can be tag any die. So now you can tag anything. You can tag a negative on someone's die. You can tag a positive on your dice. Whatever. Again, you can look for combos and see, oh, if I have this, I know I have this on a die. Maybe I should tag something else on a die. So if they get rolled together, uh, I can do it. It is a, I do want to say it is a heavier game than it looks. It's not just a simple party game mode. Because if you look at some of these abilities, they're pretty uh, intricate. Uh, and you have a lot of keywords, uh, you know, uh, replacing, The fact that one does something first and then later will do something exactly, else. Exactly, exactly. And there's some work in different phases. So the some things work in the first phase. So actually before you do the main part of an icon, you may have to do the first part of an icon. So there are cards that say first do this. Then in your main you can do this and then sometimes even in the last something you have to do at the last part of your turn. So it's there's a lot of gamery elements in this. Uh, we do offer three levels of play, a basic, an intermediate, and an expert. And again, that allows you can, to get uh, different games. And that uh, has to do with the, uh, the abilities that are available. Yes. So, right, in the basic game, we actually give you two suggestions of which white cards to put on the board, and it doesn't have any of the more complicated effects. So it gets you used to working with the uh, the, the way decks. it works and, and the, the type of gameplay that you're working exactly, with. Exactly, exactly. The only other thing you want, which we don't supply here, is you'll need, uh, since at least these are wet erase markers, you'll, you probably want some, uh, like a baby wipe or some water or something and a paper towel so that you can try to, uh, as much as possible, effectively erase the die face and to prepare it to write something else. Uh, in between games, we suggest like using uh, a little bleach or magic eraser to completely clean your dice so they don't uh, uh, the stain. Because the dice are a little porous, so sometimes the marker can stain a little bit. You'll see a little bit here, but I haven't cleaned these uh, since I got here. Um, yeah, and that's it. Also, uh, it uh, should be uh, available in stores now or very soon. And uh, twenty dollars, and actually, all the all the games I showed were are twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine, I should say. Nice with a nice flat price and a nice, yes. easily uh, accessible box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That is blank white dice from WizKids.